I'm hoping that they don't know that ill-gotten inheritance can kill them when they take all the damage from the captive audience. Damn, I need one land off the top. One land off the top. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. One land off the top. One of us. My fair citizens of Sodium City, we have YouTube Brew Lesson. So if you haven't seen the video that came out the day just before this, it should be linked at the top right hand corner of this video. It was really just a lesson on how to brew a jank deck. Now, this particular deck didn't do well at all. However, all of the things that you learned in the lesson from yesterday still do apply. The thing is, is that everything that we did with this deck is really just counterintuitive, not really counterintuitive, but it just kind of gets rolled over by the current meta, at least what I was running into, which was just a copious amount of haste creatures and artifacts and enchantments. So the fact that we were just running into all of that Black and red just don't have the answers to it. So unfortunately, the deck did fucking terrible. And uh, yeah, so I 100% do not recommend building this deck whatsoever. But it still has a lot of really good lessons in there. So definitely go ahead and watch the video from yesterday. Uh, again, it'll be linked in the top right hand corner of this video in a card. Uh, it should also be linked in the description below. But all that aside, here is the general idea of the deck we're running around Captive Audience. So Captive Audience is a really sweet win condition. It's seven mana enchantment and it enters the battlefield in the control of an opponent of your choice. So you actually don't own this enchantment and you never own it. You give it to your opponent. Super, super cool, right? At the beginning of your upkeep, you choose one that hasn't been chosen. Your life total becomes four. Cool. You discard your hand. Super cool. Each opponent creates a five two two black zombie creature tokens. Also super cool. And again, it says you because the opponent controls it. So on their upkeep, they have to do stuff. This is a really, really cool card. I personally like it a lot and it has a ton of synergy with ill-gotten inheritance. Maybe not a ton of synergy, but the win condition part of it is working with ill-gotten inheritance. So the main part is going to be the your life total becomes four. So when opponent either chooses your life total becomes four or when they're forced to choose your life total becomes four, that's when you're going to want to activate ill-gotten inheritance's ability. So ill-gotten inheritance is a four mana enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, ill-gotten inheritance deals one damage to each opponent and you gain a life. This is kind of innocuous, but it's nice. You know, you get some life gain, do one damage to the opponent, but it's relatively irrelevant when you're running captive audience because even if you get them down to one life with ill-gotten inheritance and then they say, okay, my life total becomes four, technically they're gaining three life, right? So that's not good. But ill-gotten inheritance has the activated ability of six. Sacrifice ill-gotten inheritance. It deals four damage to target opponent and you gain four life. So again, four damage to the opponent, you gain four life, captive audience, your life total becomes four. So on their upkeep, before they draw a card, they have to choose eventually, your life total becomes four, and that's when you activate ill-gotten inheritance to do four damage to their face. It's pretty cool, it's always fun, but um, it obviously has its drawbacks as far as it's you know a two-turn combo, it takes a few turns because captive audience is seven mana, but ill-gotten inheritance kind of helps you get to that late game with the damage and the the life that you get from it. The other card that we have that has a ton of synergy with Ill-Gotten Inheritance is Theater of Horrors, which is also the card draw. Uh, it's a three mana enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library. During your turn, if an opponent lost life this turn, you may play cards exiled with Theater of Horrors. This is just ridiculous, obviously, because Ill-Gotten Inheritance at the beginning of your upkeep deals one damage to each opponent. So every single turn, you have a card exiled under Theater Force, but you're also able to play it. So technically you're drawing two cards. However, if they have Narset, it's not stopped by Narset, which is amazing, right? Um, but it also has the ability of pay four mana. Theater Force deals one damage target opponent or Planeswalker. Once again, it can hit Narset, can hit all other Planeswalkers, which is cool. Um, but 
You can also hit the opponent. So if you don't have ill-gotten inheritance out, you can still activate the um, the capability of you being able to play all exiled cards under theater fours. This is really useful if you need to hit a land drop uh, and you know whatever else it is that you need. But that is the general idea of the deck. It's those three cards that you really need, the essence of the deck. It's those three cards. The rest of it is really just filler. I will say that currently in the meta, right now, as of right now, this deck is absolutely fucking trash. So don't touch it with a 10-foot pole. I'm not even going to dare you to play it. This thing is fucking garbage. So you're just going to run into nothing but haste creatures like slivers all over the fucking place. And there's enchantments and artifacts all over the fucking place. And there's just enough. There's no way you can deal with it in these colors. So it's really, really unfortunate. So what you need to do is you need to add in white for some cards. And I'll go over that in the stats section at the very, very end of this video. So you can always jump to that part. All the timeline stuff is you know, on the timeline. Uh, it's all outlined there. So you can just jump to that if you want to know all the details of that. But if you took Captive Audience, Ill-Gotten Inheritance, Theater Force, and then added white um, with all the recommendations I put in there, then this deck could be usable. Uh, but as it is right now, it's definitely not usable. I highly recommend not even touching it. But you get the general idea. In the video, you'll see the synergies and the really cool things that the deck has to offer when you're able to get to that point in the game. So once you add white to this deck to really just piece it all together to deal with all of the decks that are running around right now, this deck probably has a lot more legs to stand on. So I might just build this same exact deck, throw in white to really prove it to you all that it can be done. So that's something you may just see tomorrow. I do have another deck that I built that I really, really like. Uh, so that might come out tomorrow, but I might actually just do this just to kind of prove that this whole concept does work. So uh, look forward to that. And um, again, don't play this deck, but it is funny. Captive Audience is always a really funny card. And as for yesterday's comment question of the day, I asked you, did you have any additional tips to help people brew decks? Here are your answers. And if you want your comment featured in these videos, make sure that you answer the comment question of the day every single day, seven days a week in the comment section below. Stay salty and enjoy the games. All right. This is going to become a lesson on how to not brew, I believe. <laughs> All subscription feeds go towards the high quality ribbon. Not even just, all right, so the, I, uh, based on how far away the monitor is and how much I actually have to cut, I was doing the math on it. I was like, all right, this is actually going to get really fucking expensive really quickly. <laughs> I didn't think of it all the way. All right. I didn't think of it all the way through. I got, I got giant scissors of doom. Dad. <laughs> 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 uh, uh. ribbon cutting ribbon cutting ceremony for the subscriber thank you very much ponage factory one year for that prime gaming welcome to sodium city uh, it's not my fault it's not my fault I'm like, all right, I'm not really going to make anything from this. <laughs> I will take one damage. Take that fucker. Ha <laughs> ha! Do small ribbon with big scissors? It's not the worst idea, I suppose. Where's my board wipes? I found them. Beautiful. All 
All right. I am fucking rich. I'm fucking rich. Here we go, baby. It may be ill-gotten, but fucking whatever. <laughs> the suffering of others is not my concern. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> now I can afford the ribbon. <laughs> Quarks are... Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Alright. Uh, let's get another one. Let's get another one. Getting another one. It's cute. Uh, let's get another one. Let's get another one. I'll take it. I'll take it. Can we get a fourth one? Can we get a fourth one? I would like a fourth one, please. Can I get a fourth one? Number four? Number four? It would be a shame if you just lost all of those right upon- Oh, hey, I got a fourth one. Pog? <laughs> the suffering of others are not my concern. Sounds like my ex. <laughs> Pog, Pog, got a fourth one, got a fourth one. <laughs> Opponent, leave me alone, I'm just gonna heal it all up. It's mine, it's mine. It's mine. <laughs> Nova, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to Sodium City. Uh, ritual soot. Aha! <laughs> Let the money do the talking, exactly. Aha! <laughs> I am the keeper of treasures. <laughs> yeah. But personally, I was not happy. You got 45 pounds too. Right before the first lockdown, I was shopping for a gym nearby. So that one, I know, right? The thing is, like, there's stuff I could have done. Get into intermittent fasting. I, I do intermittent fasting, yeah. That's how I initially lost my weight, because I... When I first started my whole weight loss thing... The, the, I never really had a weight issue until I developed epilepsy. There's like a whole backstory to it, right? So I used to, I used to play Dance Dance Revolution all the time. Uh, I would like go to the gym, I would lift weights and shit. You know, I did all the stuff that, you know, just you would do to stay in shape, right? And then I developed epilepsy and I would go from having a seizure like once every six months to once every three months. Um, and then once every two, one, and then it would get to the point where I would have one almost once a week. And then, um, from the seizures that I had, because they were all grand mal seizures, they would, like, I don't like this. I don't like this. They would, Um, they would rip my arms out of my sockets. They would rip my shoulders out of their sockets and then put them back into place uh, on both my shoulders. <laughs> and we would do it over and over and over again for like two to three minutes. And so, yeah, it was really hard to do any type of weightlifting. My shoulder would dislocate putting on a t-shirt if I did it too fast. If I like dove into a pool, my shoulder would dislocate. So lifting, like, any kind of weight would just fuck up my shoulder. Now, granted, that's not necessarily an excuse because I could have done other things to, like, you know, stay in shape and stuff. It was just one of those... It was very... It was very disheartening, I guess, more than anything. It was like... I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to explain. It just, it didn't feel good. I didn't, I didn't like it. 
I don't like it. Um, so it's just not, you know, just, it wasn't good. Um, so I had to be seizure free for about, I think it was, it was either two or three years before I could get surgery to fix my shoulders. And then once I fixed my shoulders, then I could... I'm not really drawing extra cards, so I don't really care, right? Um, so I got my shoulders fixed. And then I went from 250 pounds down to 169. Nice. And then I was on, I was at 169 for literally like three months. I just, I couldn't get lower than 169. I don't know why. Am I still having, no, I haven't had a seizure. Oh, it was about close to two years ago. Um, I was riding my scooter to work and someone pushed me into traffic. And... I had a big concussion at that point, and I was in the hospital for a couple months. Uh, I had a seizure when I was out of the hospital or in the hospital, I'm not quite sure. This was overwhelming. Fuck you. Um, but that was the last time I had a seizure in a while. What the fuck is this? How come? Why? 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 Oh, why? How? Why? How? Uh, I am five nine? Five eight or five nine. The thing is, like, with my height, I think I lied to myself since I was 16. Because when I was on my drive on my driver's license, I think it says 511. No, it says 5'10", but I think I'm like 5'9", or 5'8". Definitely not that tall. Alright. Do you have a planar cleansing? You're not sure? Well, I'm not- I didn't say I'm sure. Someone else said I'm sure. I'm just- I'm not that tall. I'm not tall. Like, I'm average. Whatever. Hi. Please don't have planar cleansing? I dislike you, opponent. I dislike you. Yeah, I don't know. I want to say I said that when I was like fucking 16 or some shit. And so I think I just lied to myself for so long. I just assumed it was the thing. It's just fucking weird. It's just fucking weird. Nice sequence, thanks. What's up, Sneak Chew? Five seven is below average. So I am short, and five seven is below average. So what is average? An average what? Average in the US?
average height men in the US. About 5'9". So I am about average. Yeah, I'm like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, but apparently apparently being average is short I feel like Valkyron is just drunk or something and trying to start a fight for whatever reason I don't know what's going on <laughs> Uh, you do another right one. Short people live longer. Is that true? Because I thought people who had that. Uh, what is it? The, the, dwarfism or whatever. Don't they have like a lot shorter life expectancy? And same with tall people. Don't really tall people have the same issue? It's like. If you're average, you live longer, right? Isn't that what it is? Pretty sure if you're average, you live longer. Sure. Average and height or length were good. 13 year old nephew is 5'11 he's gonna be massive that's ridiculous yeah how many times does he get asked do you play basketball they're <laughs> all the time taller people do die younger Moses Malone. I don't know what that means. Marfan syndrome is real. I don't know what that is either. They're blinking their bombardment, chat. I could be fucked. Yeah, opponents kind of land destruction. If they blink their bombardment, then they don't get to destroy land this turn, which is Gur 8. Yeah, opponent, I think, just splashed red for bombardment. Like, only has Cold Steel Heart for red. Some of the tallest people in history have died young. Being tall isn't that great. Tall skinny people have weak hearts. Pretty sure like everyone has a weak heart. Stab anyone in the heart and they're gonna die. Daryl Dawkins is dead and he was tall. Wow. Nice anecdotal evidence. I saw an egg crack once. That means no eggs can ever not crack. Good example. I like it. <laughs> Remember me and Arnold Schwarzenegger in person, never realizing that he wasn't all that tall, but dude, he's huge. Yeah, that guy's fucking massive. Opponent, what's what's going on here? 6 1. He's fucking massive.
Think people live to the fullest? Yeah. I don't know what happened to the opponent. Thick thighs saves life, dude. Hell yeah. I feel like the opponent was winning and then they got their dick sucked. Is that what happened? They got my castle. I can't believe they got I can't believe they got my castle. Weird time to unmute the stream. It's the best time. Is it ever not a weird time to unmute the stream? Robert Downing instead of a booster when he's on camera next to tall people so he doesn't look short. Why is that funny? It's just funny when... I don't know. It's funny with all the fakeness that goes on in like movies. It's I don't even really say fake. It's just like the fucking... The illusions and shit that happens in movies and stuff. Shit's crazy, man. They're like, what? That person's not short? Or what? That person is short? You just don't know. Everyone in Hollywood looks like they're the same size, give or take like a couple inches, right? Some people are like 6'3", other people are like 5'7". You're like, what? In the movie, they're like the same height. Oh, like one of the four main characters? Dude, I don't know celebrity names. I watch like zero TV. I've seen about four episodes of Game of Thrones, and that's about it. Maybe five. Actually, I think I might have finished the first season. Shame. Shame. Hello. So loop three tails in to keep a zero land from dying to three Chandra emblems. Jesus. That sounds annoying as fuck. Oh, mother sh Mother of fuck. Alright. Red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom! Captive audience, baby. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Are we ready? Are we ready? Aye, aye, Captain! Okay, good. I'm hoping... I'm hoping... that they don't know that ill-gotten inheritance can kill them when they take all the damage from the captive audience. Damn, I need one land off the top. One land off the top. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. One land off the top. Uno mas. Uno mas. Give me a land, baby. I'll risk it. Card the hand? Holy shit.
Sure. Why not? <laughs> Got him. The combo. Sure. 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 Opponent was a slut anyway. See? Slut. It's weird how, like, my graphics driver looked like it was crashing. And then I restarted MTGA. And it no longer is crashing. Interesting how that is. Interesting. Hmm? What's up, Victor? How you doing? I haven't seen rogues in a minute. I haven't decided if I want to sit now or later. Let's do it now, while we can. So, alright, telling yourself you should go to bed since you gotta be up in seven hours? It's probably the best move, yeah. Oh my god, uh, you chose to be up in seven hours? Because you're choosing to go to work, or... I don't know, I don't follow. Choosing to be a responsible adult? I don't know. Spell. Mm hmm. Why am I getting mana screwed? Just added two more lands. Nice. Third one, Pog. Do I actually want to kill this thing? I don't know. What's up, John? I played a land this turn. That was a mistake. Black. I choose black. Thank you very much for the sub, John. 
I appreciate it. And the raid. And the raid. All right. Yay, indeed. All right. All right. I'm possibly absolutely fucked. We are totally fucked. Possibly absolutely fucked. All right. Wait till after this game. I will thank you for the sub appropriately. Counter it like an idiot. Counter it like an idiot. Thanks, idiot. <laughs> Just don't have another one. Just don't have another one, please. Another one. Three in the top 24. Motherfucker. I hate rogue players. I hope this person gets spawn camped in every game that they've ever played. It's probably why they play magics. So they're not talented at any actual game. I play magic? Hey. Right, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Cardzeas <sighs> become a citizen of Sodium City. Cardzer, thank you so much for the or for the sub. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Give me like after this game, and then and then we'll we'll cut the ribbon to the city. All right. Naturally. I don't have any board wipes. Of course you have Agadim's awaken, right? Cuz you're a garbage human being. Yeah. All right, that's my last board wipe. the bail on this deck i don't know if saying oh we lost to rogues means we should bail on it uh we should definitely take out those treasure keepers though like a hundred percent they're not good. They are not. I really wanted it to be fun, but it turned out to not be all that fun. Turned out to not be all that fun. What up, Freeman? How's it going, mine? This sack of shit. Fucking rogue players. Do you think you could brew an exponential growth deck? I don't... Uh, I mean, may? I mean, I, I could. I don't necessarily want to. It's a bad card, and I don't really play creatures. I can add it to the list, but I would definitely, definitely not go out of my way to just brew it. 
Definitely not. came up in conversation earlier. Yeah, I mean, if it had some type of... I don't, I don't know. It's just... It's such a generic... It's like... I don't know. It doesn't... Like, you don't really brew around exponential growth, you know? You brew around a creature, or you brew around exponential growth with some other card or something. It's like saying, brew around, revitalize. You know, it does nothing by itself. It needs something. Well, fuck you too, opponent. Well, fuck you too. I can kill your enchantment too, biatch. Bruh. How the fuck am I missing land drops? I have 27 lands. I hope I don't regret that. I hope I don't regret that. They have a hasty I'm fucked, right? Tony, can you give me a couple of your lands, please? I would like one or two of them. Just keep this up for a hasty, right? All right, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Your forward seems like a bad Phyrexian arena. Not really. You don't take Demuge from it. If it was Phyrexian Arena, I would have died already. Yeah, if it was Phyrexian Arena, I would have died already. All right, ill-gotten inheritance off the top. Put that in my hand instead of exile? Yeah, but I could kill them with Theater of Horrors in two turns. Theater of Horrors does damage. Not this turn, but next turn they were dead. 
Yeah, the trees, the trees on my maps have been like fucking freaking out for the last week or so. I don't know what's going on. Like the ones behind, like if we're on any map that has trees, I'll show you. They've all been fucking up. Of course this one doesn't have trees. Of course this one doesn't have trees. Hello. Did not see that one coming. Did not see that one coming. I like their googly boy sleeves. I think I'd throw back these two? I don't know what they have. I get exactly six non lands in a row. Absurd. Brrr, black. What up, Sidey? How's it going, mine? You can have your little dude. You can have your little dude. Just install the LEDs in your GameCube controller ports. Aha! Enjoy your captive audience. Is everyone captivated? I'm captivated. I'm the most captivated. No! Got oopsed. I got oopsed. It could have the combo right now, though, right? It could have the combo.
Well... Don't you oops all over this dick. How about that. After the changes, it's definitely gotten better. Hey, they said oops. They said oops when they destroyed our shit, so they get a oops when I sit on their face, right? What are you trying to do? Um, so this really cool thing, right? I know that you probably won't understand, but it's called like winning, you know? It's really cool. Everybody like claps and shit. That they oops us because they didn't mean to cast it for the student cost? Oh, maybe. That could be it. Have you said you're not doing so well? That's fair. Um... No lizard for you. I disagree with your lizard's lightning, kind sir. Is it just control? Oh, it's a captive audience list. Using Theater 4's and Ill-Gotten Inheritance. So, today I came out with a YouTube video uh, that kind of just went over, quote-unquote, how to brew a jank deck. And so I just brewed a jank deck, and this is the result of said jank deck. It was not going well. I made some changes and it's going better. Better. It's better. Sure. I'm probably going to regret this. Make a follow-up video called How to Fix Your Drink Tech. <sighs> well, I didn't want to have the captive audience in my hand, right? So, keeping it under the theater of horrors... I'm just trying not to go down to six. If I could go down to, like, seven, we're fine. Alright? Fuck. That's good value. Good value. That's what we call good value. All right? That is what we call good value. Shit. This is fine. This is fine. I can't take the Demouge. Aha!
All right now that hurt i need an ill-gotten inheritance immediately immediately please don't kill me sp 4623 oh. become a citizen of sodium city spastic thank you so much for the follow for the sub sorry oh my gosh why did i say follow thank you for that i appreciate it okay so we can ba-boom ba-boom and then a ba-boom oh uh, the salt flow we're trying i'm trying i'm trying I'm trying i'm trying I'm trying oh why you gotta top deck all the burn spells all right fuck face enjoy enjoy mother mother asshole so at the end of the day this brew lesson ended up going five and eleven um so the lesson was kind of a failure however we learned a valuable lesson from this lesson and currently it seems that the best color that we can do currently is white um and i'm just saying that because there's just so there's so many hasty creatures enchantments and artifacts and, and they're just so so powerful that there's just nothing else that we can do with it we the only <laughs> the only thing that we can do is run white. Those are our only options. If we're going to run a tap out control style deck, the only thing that you can do is run white, period. There are zero other options. So if we were to take this deck, add in white, we would have to mix up a whole bunch of things. We wouldn't have Theater of Horrors, Bedevil, Valakut Awakening, Mind Stone, Cold Steel, Heart, Feed the Swarm. We would be able to change a lot and just have Captive Audience and then take out all of the other removal stuff, take out all the other card draw stuff, really just have captive audience and then throw in, you know, the settle the wreckages that we need, the uh, the authority of the consoles that we need, the Heliod's interventions that we would need. There's, after you have those specific cards, then you can just kind of fill in the deck with literally whatever you want. But really the only cards you need are settle the wreckage, Heliod's Intervention, and Authority of the Console. If you have those three cards in a deck, and you're playing Tap Out Control, you should win. As long as you have a decent win condition, that, that's it. That's all you need. Get some card draw. So for the most part, all the principles still apply from the video that came out yesterday, um, which should be linked. Uh, there should be a card to it in the top right-hand corner of this video. Um, so the whole lesson of the deck was to kind of show you how to brew a deck. Uh, it went over the general, uh, the general thought process that I go through when building a deck. So all those thought processes are still there. Everything still applies. The thing is, is that as you're going through those thought processes, you also have to apply it to the current meta. You have to apply it to the decks that you're running into. The thing is, all the decks that we're running into are haste creatures and enchantment and artifacts. The best way to deal with the combination of all of those is running white. You run white, you run those three cards, and you just beat 90% of the decks that are out there. So take this deck, completely dismantle it. You can throw in Captive Audience, just make sure you add in white with those three cards, and then literally put in whatever win condition you want, whatever supporting cards you want outside of that, and you should literally win. But this deck, total fucking water trash. Don't even fucking touch it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it to this point, it means you either really enjoyed the video or you fell asleep and I'm waking you up now. <laughs> either way, thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification. Come out with videos seven days a week.